This is part 71 of Angular CRUD tutorial. We've covered a lot of ground in this course. We've learned many Angular concepts that we were not able to cover as part of our previous Angular 2 course. Including this video, we have 71 videos in total and the duration is just under 12 hours. We have used Angular version 5 in this course. I hope you enjoyed this course as much as I did creating it. To download the project source code, visit this URL right here and then click on this button. I'll have all the links and the resources you need to follow along with this course in the description of this video. Once you have the project source code downloaded, follow the instructions in this article to run the Angular project. Again, I'll have the link to this article available in the description of this video. Here we have the Angular CRUD tutorial playlist where you'll find all the videos in logical sequence. If you want the text articles and slides, they are available on this page. To download all of our videos and slides for offline viewing, please visit this URL. There are different versions of Angular, so a common question that I keep getting is, which version should I use to start learning Angular? The first version of Angular is officially called AngularJS. However, some people call it Angular 1 or AngularJS 1, but it's officially called AngularJS. Starting from Angular version 2, it's called just Angular and not AngularJS anymore. The latest version as of this recording is Angular 6. So these are the different Angular versions we have till date. The initial release, AngularJS, and then we have Angular 2, 4, 5, and the current latest version, Angular 6. To understand the differences between these versions and why Angular 3 is skipped, please check out this video. There is massive difference between AngularJS and the rest of the Angular versions, that is Angular 2, 4, 5, and 6. However, starting from Angular 2, there are no massive differences between Angular 2, 4, 5, and 6. The way we build Angular applications using Angular 2, 4, 5, or 6 is very identical. We use the same approach and programming constructs. Now, if you know as part of your job, you'll be working on and supporting an Angular application that was built using the initial AngularJS version, then I suggest learn AngularJS. Here's the link to our AngularJS playlist. There are 53 videos in total. On the other hand, if you know you won't be supporting or working on an AngularJS application, then start with Angular 2. Here is our Angular 2 playlist. It contains 43 videos and covers all the Angular basic concepts. Once you're confident with the Angular basic concepts, learn how to use this Angular CLI tool. It's a great tool to increase your productivity. Once you're comfortable with Angular basics and this Angular CLI tool, then start with this Angular CRUD tutorial. In this Angular CRUD course, we're using Angular version 5. Though this course uses Angular 5, we still build Angular applications the same way as we have built them using Angular 2. The newer Angular versions have some new features introduced. In this Angular CRUD course, we'll discuss all those Angular concepts we were not able to cover in Angular 2 course. Hope you'll find these resources useful to start learning Angular. As I said before, I'm going to include all these links in the description of this video so you can refer to them later. So what's next? We'll start a new Angular course and in the project that we'll build as part of this new course, we'll use the latest version of Angular which as of this recording is Angular 6. In this new course, we'll cover all those Angular concepts we were not able to cover in Angular 2 and Angular CRUD courses. Some of the concepts that we'll discuss are Angular Reactive Forms, Authentication and Authorization, HTTP Interceptors, Unit Testing, Lazy Loading Modules, etc. If you have a concept in mind that you want us to include in this new course, please leave it as a comment on this video. We'll do our best to have it included in this course. If you find our courses useful, it would be a great help and honor if you can share these free resources with your friends and family who could benefit as well. Thank you very much and happy coding!